And then I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. She goes down. I thought to myself, did she faint? The notion that there was a live round in that gun did not dawn on me till probably 45 minutes to an hour later. Do you feel guilt? No, no. Someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. Okay, Alec Baldwin making several stunning claims during his first TV interview since a deadly shooting left one woman dead on the set of his movie Rust. The actor telling George Stephanopoulos he did not pull the trigger and he didn't even realize he shot the lady until 45 minutes after the incident. Joining us now with the reaction is actor and reserve police officer and producer Dean Kane. Dean, from what you saw of the, uh, of the interview, what do you think of his explanations and descriptions? Well, good morning, Brian morning. Ainsley, Steve. Good you morning. know, I, I'm still trying to figure out why he did the interview. You know, when, what do you, I think right. he's just trying to get ahead of the narrative here and go, look, you know, here's here's what it is and maybe get the court of public opinion on his side. But, you know, he violated, I mean, the, the, there was negligence here all the way through. Uh, Helena Hutchins lost her life and it was because of negligence. Now, his, his response or his reason why he did it, pulling back the hammer, if he's using a single action weapon and he pulls back the hammer and lets it go, that's the same as pulling the trigger. And anybody who has any knowledge of, of guns understands that in the Screen Actors Guild safety bulletins right here the very first thing they say is blanks can kill treat all firearms as though they are loaded and of course live ammunition is never to be used or brought on set yeah. somebody well, brought that live ammunition on set and that's a problem but he should not even if he's pointing a weapon like the, like he said that the, the the director of photography Helena Hutchins told him to point it here there he anybody who's experienced even as Alec Baldwin is should have opened and checked the cylinder there should have been a safety meeting beforehand it's it's standard protocol and and it wasn't followed so there is right. negligence without a doubt the fact that he doesn't feel guilt whoo um, that's a tough one for me because if I had been in the same position and I'd done that myself you know even though it was a complete accident and I believe it was an accident I don't know how you don't feel some, some semblance of guilt. I, I don't understand that. Maybe he just doesn't want to admit it, right? Because what does that look like if he does? Yeah, well, again, I think part of the reason he did this this uh, this uh, interview, which when there's a, a civil and or criminal proceedings uh, ahead, it's hard for me to understand why he would do that. Why are you talking like this and giving your side? Because that, as far as I'm concerned, that's, that's evidence in the, in the case. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. Uh, Dean, uh, a new search warrant approved by the judge in the case revealed that the live round may actually have been left in the gun from the previous film production. So it could be one of those things where nobody ever looked. In the meantime, the sheriff, Sheriff Mendoza, who's been on this program, regarding what uh, he said, Alec Baldwin said, he said, guns don't just go off. So whatever needs to happen to manipulate the firearm, he did that and it was in his hands. You know, he says he's not responsible for it, but somebody's got to figure out what happened because somebody is dead. Yeah, I was shocked when he said, you know, I didn't pull the trigger. And I, and I get that. But if you have a single action revolver and you pull the hammer back before it clicks and holds and let it go, that's literally the same as firing the weapon. And anybody who has any experience with firearms right. uh, at all should know that. And, Dean, uh, and, I, and I believe Alex should, should have been aware. Dean, you do. You, see, you take a hold of productions. You hire people. You, you're a producer. Um, is it possible that... Do you, do you have to think to yourself, I'm responsible, should somebody go wrong, fall off a ladder, do anything? Do you sense, do you always have that sense of responsibility? Because he's a producer on this. Well, there, yeah, there's sometimes, and he said he was a creative producer and had no business with all, I mean, I think they're getting into legal semantics beforehand, and I think he's trying to cover himself in, in a sense, but I know when I produce things and I hire people um, that I, am, I have some semblance of responsibility. I also know that this wouldn't happen on a set that I was on. It just couldn't. There's no way someone could be handed a weapon and not have it have a safety meeting beforehand, yeah. have everyone together. And I don't believe, from what I've heard, I didn't hear anybody talk about a safety meeting that took place beforehand. And it says very clearly on that same Screen Actors Guild bulletin, before any use of a firearm in a rehearsal and or on camera sequence uh, or off camera, all persons must be thoroughly briefed, briefed on an on-site on safety meeting. And I don't think that took place. I think it's just negligence. And I don't think Alec did it on purpose by any stretch of the imagination. But... Uh, you know, the gun was yeah. in his hands, and he did pull back the hammer and let just, it go. Just the Some, beginning. Something went wrong. Uh, Dean, thank you very much. Thank you, Dean. Have a great weekend.